We are continuing to talk about those two major stories this week, the Fed meeting and the developing situation with Evergrande in China. For more on both, let's welcome in Johnny Filion. He is the CEO of BNP Paribas USA back with us. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Oh, Scott, thank you so much for having me. I set up the major stories we're focused on, and there are so many, but I'll ask you to play off what Steve Leisman was just talking about. Your own takeaway from what Jay Powell and company had to say yesterday. Taper's getting closer. When do you think it's going to happen, and what do you think the market impact is going to be? Well, I think Steve uh, summarized it very well, actually. I mean, what happened yesterday, the announcement from the Fed, was already well anticipated by the markets. Uh, tapering probably before the end of 2021, you know, uh, hiking rates sometime in 2022. There is a decoupling between tapering and, and rates uh, hiking. Listen, we will still be in a very low rate environment, and uh, we believe it's just continuing. It, it will continue to support a robust and strong economic growth in, uh, in 2022 and 2023. As mentioned as well by Steve, I believe that the central banks today, by the way, it's Fed and ECB, are quite well equipped to moderate, monitor uh, the uh, inflation dynamic. And honestly, if you look at the yield curve, at least today, and uh, it's flat, it's flattened, it's, it's, it's flatter probably. And, you know, the, the 10 years is still around, you know, 1.4, which, which shows that long-term investors are still uh, very, uh, very cautious about uh, 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 inflation going forward. Not, not to mention, I mean, you look at the reaction in the, in the stock market today and what happened post-Fed, uh, the most telegraphed, arguably, taper ever, uh, obviously makes investors feel good. I would imagine it's helpful to a CEO running a large financial institution in the United States as well. It is, and as it relates to <clears throat> to, um, uh, to investors and or investor clients, really their main challenge today is to is to find yield. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, U.S. equities close to you know a full cycle fixed income with expectations of uh, rates going up. You know, limited return. Then they really uh, look into. Uh, private assets, you know, private equity, CLOs, uh, uh, venture capital, distressed debt. Uh, on the issuer side, though, our issuer clients have highly benefited from this still low rate environment. You've seen a lot of balance sheet optimization, liability management, and, and in terms of, you know, activity, high yield is already at a record year uh, for 2021. You have uh, over $360 billion of uh, I yield bond, uh, new issuances for $60 billion for loans, and high grade is, is really uh, uh, quite active as well. Two weeks ago, we had the highest uh, uh, high grade week in terms of volumes, $80 billion, which is really fueled by both M&A and, and this uh, quite active liability management. We've been very active supporting our clients in, the, in U.S. dollars, in euros as well.